my channel. Today we're going to talk about a couple of things. We're going to talk about a bag and some items I've made and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this video. Alright so first things let's talk about the um, Harlow pajamas by Gertie. Um, I have made a few of them actually and I've made them for my daughter. So she, I sent her the pair that I made and she absolutely loved it. She said it was cool and she felt fabulous in them and she wanted me to make her some more. So I made a set, I made another set, a little floral. And remember, I hacked these into shorts. So they're not the pant version, they're the short, short version. I just put this inside out. So here we are. Um, this is the short and then here's the matching top to that one and the reason why I made it both floral is because um, I ran out of the other blue for the bottoms because I was gonna do solid a solid bottom and a floral top but I ran out so I just went ahead and made the whole thing floral and then the second one I made is the bottom shorts again um, as you can see, and the top for this one, I absolutely love it. Kind of reminds me of maybe like the 60s. Um, and here we go. And I just made it plain, you know, we didn't put the frog or anything like that. And I didn't add the sash because it does, it does come with a tie, a, sa um, a sash. And I didn't add that. She didn't want it. So I went ahead and made this one. And this, this fabric is pretty cute. It has little birds on it. And um, so yeah, so that is the second pair that I made for her. And um, the third pair, let me grab that really quick. Um, I have to add the neck band. Here is the bottom um, to that. Um, and if you remember, I talked about this fabric in the other video I have posted. And anyways, I made the top in a matching the matching fabric to this. So um, I just wanted to change the neck band out. Have you ever sewn something and you just gotta make a change to it? So that's how I felt. I felt like I needed to change the neck band to it. So I have that picked apart and I'm about to do that next. But I thought I'd just show you anyway. So I made her three pairs of pajamas um, and then I made her the Loretta shorts um, by Gertie as well. I made them in denim. Unfortunately, she already has those, so I cannot show you. I didn't even think to take a picture, so I can't even show you a picture of the denim um, Gertie Loretta shorts. But I did just finish up a, a, pay, a beige color, and I have another color cut out for her. She really loved them. She loved the big pockets. She loved she just she really enjoyed these shorts let me tell you right when i gave them to her she they were on um so i will show you that i literally just finished putting the band on and i just need to do the little snap in the back so i will show you those and here they are um so these are the loretta shorts with these huge pockets in the front and they fit you know they're 1950 so they fit like a little skirt but they look so beautiful. When my daughter put them on, I was like, wow, those look really good on her. Um, so here we are with the beige color. And I think I'll do, I'll record the next color since I am making a few more things for her. So I won't be sending them out uh, anytime soon, uh, maybe within the next week or so. So here are the Loretta shorts that I made her in beige. Um, doing an overlap zipper in the back and I just need to add the snap to it because I literally just finished these. So um, yeah, she really loves these Loretta shorts. If you haven't, and again, this isn't a paid sponsorship. If you haven't followed Gertie, um, you may want to. The only way you can get the the Loretta short pattern is by following her on or becoming subscribing to her Patreon. And I think you could do it with a $7 tier and you'll get this pattern. Um, and she does have a great video to show you how it comes, the front comes together. Um, but, and then with the, the, the pajamas, you can actually get these on her website. Um, and they're, they're charmpatterns.com and you'll can get them free. Now they come with the pant. I hacked them and I made them into a short because you know, it is hot and in Texas is super duper hot. So, you know, that's where my daughter lives. And so these are the short versions aren't they cute like yeah so 
those are the clothing items I made. I did make a Bonnie bucket bag. I do have a picture of that that I made for my daughter. I had the fabric custom made um, with her Pekingese, as you remember. We have to put him down um, just due to old age. And so I went ahead and made her a Bonnie um, bucket bag into a backpack. And I'll insert a picture here so that you can see that. Um, but yeah, she absolutely loved that as well. Um, and I just did a couple of things different. Um, I didn't add the gar the grommets to it. I did not make it a drawstring like other people have been making it. Um, and the next bag I want to talk about is, um, I actually love it. I was inspired by Burberry. And, uh, so I thought, you know what? I actually need a laptop bag and I thought this bag was perfect for it. Um, so let me show you the bag. Now this is the Lynette business bag. And uh, again, I was inspired by Burberry. That's why you see the, the kind of Burberry um, little stripes here. I was gonna do the whole strap, but I didn't want too much of it. I just wanted this to stand out and I thought that looked perfect. And then the um, final, I'm, okay, so I, I was so frustrated with my machine. As you know, I have the Destiny um, Baby Lock Destiny, and it doesn't do very well with leather or vinyl. Um, now, I had a different type of vinyl, and it just would not sew. It was bunching up. The stitches didn't look good. I was so irritated that I put this bag aside for about two to three weeks just because I just, you know, I really wanted vinyl here. So I went on to Punk Embroidery. I think that's her name. I want to say that's what that's what the website is. I can't remember. Um, and I purchased her vinyl. And let me tell you, it sewed the Baby Lock Destiny sewed it beautifully, as you can see here, because I really wanted this accent to be vinyl, and it looks really nice. I didn't want to push my luck and put it in the bottom, so I didn't. I made this out of waterproof canvas, which gives it that structured look that I wanted it to have. So there that is. I put the foam in it. Um, the next, I think I want to make me another one because I really want to have a front pocket. So I think the next bag I make is I will add a pocket to the front. So I'm going to um, do a video with that so you can see how I hack that up. And then the inside, the other thing I want to do differently is add more pockets because it has the center divider. Now, I didn't like how it looks here. I followed the pattern. So there's a couple of things I'm going to do differently so that my center divider pocket is more structured and more secure in there because right now it isn't, which isn't a really big deal, but I would prefer more of a structure, more neat looking thing inside. And I also would like to have more pockets in here because the pattern doesn't call for it. So I am definitely going to make another one and I'm gonna add some more pockets on the inside and on the outside. And I'm gonna add maybe an extra padding to it because I am gonna use this for my laptop. Um, and you know, it's not, you can't see because I'm so short, but it's, look, it's not that big. You could literally just hold it like this if you wanted to. And I think I, I may just even add, um, a shorter strap maybe. I don't know yet. I'm still kind of playing with that idea. So you could just kind of hold it like this, but I mean, it doesn't even bother me holding it like this. So we'll see how I, what I do next, but yeah. So this is the Lynette Business Bag by Swoon Patterns and very easy to put together. I had no problems other than the vinyl, but that wasn't the pattern's fault. Uh, Messages Destiny, she, I don't understand. For a $5,000 machine, she should be able to sell through some vinyl, right? <laughs> oh yeah, but she didn't. And um, now I have some issues with her. Her needle doesn't center. I've tried everything. I may have to take her in to get service, but this is why I need an industrial because I enjoy sewing bags. I really, really do. Um, again, I, I don't know. I just something about when you finish the bag and you're just like, well, I did that, you know? So it, it's, 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 it's satisfying. And 
to do different things that you want to it is even more satisfying. And like for this one, I really enjoy the bag. Again, I love the, the structure of it I or the size of it. I like the design of it. I just think I'm gonna add like a, a big pocket here in the center and maybe even on both sides because this way I could just kind of stick my phone there if I'm like, not that I'm traveling. Well, I did travel. I did go to Texas and I did, I drove there and then flew back. So, you know, that was interesting. Um, anyways, uh, I could easily just stick my, you know, phone there, what have you, pins. And I think that's what I'm going to do next. And I may just do a sew along with that. But this Lynette, this Lynette business bag, I absolutely love. And again, it's just a Burberry. I love it. I, you know, on the inside, I did this red cotton um, fabric, as you could see. I just got little designs on it. And I thought that it went well because it has this red there and it kind of popped. So, yeah, I think... Yeah, I just love that the way that it looks all together. I love that I just put the beige here and not up on the straps. I think that it stands out here. The other thing I'm gonna do next is just I'm gonna add the rivets to this bag. So I haven't done that yet, but I'm gonna add the rivets to that. And so I thought I'd just kind of just show you the bag. Very easy to, to put together, um, not hard at all. Kinda beginner do it probably with a, a, a sew along and I um, I would I haven't seen anybody do a sew along for the net business bag so I think that's what I want to do is kind of do a sew along with that so you could see me put it together and yeah I, I truly enjoyed it and again um, these pajama sets are are the the Harlow pajama sets which you can get for free you can get the pattern for free on um, charmpatterns.com. And again, this is not a paid sponsor, um, but I just thought I'd mention to it because who doesn't want a free pattern, especially for pajamas, like it's these kind of pajamas. Um, they, they're comfortable. They're, you know, they're nothing really sexy, but you know, they you don't need to be sexy really to go to bed, I guess. Um, but I think that they're, they just look good, right? They just, they just look good. I, I truly enjoy sewing these pajamas up, so I can't wait to do some more for my daughter. Um, I did do these in cotton cotton lawn. Um, this one is, yeah, they're all cotton lawn. No, this one's like, yeah, they're all cotton lawn. I had to think about that. Um, yeah, they're all cotton lawn. This, the, the shorts, I did this out of a, it's from Moods. Let me see what I did with that little tag. This one is a cotton twill. It's cotton twill suiting. Um, so uh, it looks amazing. And then the next one, again, I have that cut up already to get sewn. I did, I like to get everything prepared. I'm gonna serge it and then serge it. I guess that's what you would say, right? Serge it. I'm going to finish the ends of the shorts. Um, and then I'm going to um, start the sewing. Um, and I'll, I probably will go ahead and, like I said, do that as a sew along because it's already ready. Um, and why not? Not a sew, I'm not, not a tutorial, just sew with me. And again, these are the Loretta shorts from Gertie. Um, and you could get the, the pattern on the Patreon. All you need to do is sign up for one of her Patreon tiers. And I, I don't know if the lower tier gets access to the, um, patterns but I know the seven dollar one does um because if you remember I was talking to my daughter about it and I was like oh I want to get that pattern and so I told her and she signed me up for the seven dollar one and here we go we have this these beautiful shorts that this is my second pair that I've made for my daughter and I'm making a third pair out of a different color so she has the denim she has the cotton twill beige and then she'll have a like a turquoise color so yeah that's all I have for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Um, again, this, this, I love, I am loving this Burberry inspired bag, you guys. I think it's just, I don't know, I love it. I, and I, I, I'm gonna do a sew along for sure on this one, you guys. I am just um, going to finish the shorts, then do an, the, another bag. I am doing two backpacks that I have 
custom orders for so I may just do I don't I don't know about that one because I well, I don't really have a deadline but I'd like to get it done soon um, but yeah so that's all I have for today I hope that you enjoyed the content and if so please hit that subscribe button down below and uh, comment let me know what you think and we'll talk soon I hope you have a great weekend bye